What's up, Chieftains? I am David Cunha. I am your Director of Technology here at Palma School. Uh, this video is what's called the Palma Ready Tutorial. Uh, we're going to go over all the things to get your iPad ready to be on our network here. And then we're going to go over um, a couple different apps that I would call essential apps that you're going to be using uh, every single day here at Palma. So get comfortable. This will be a slightly longer video. Uh, and make sure you have your iPad ready. So step one, when you're on campus here, you're going to get a Palma School ID paper. And it's going to contain your ID number, your email address, and your password. Uh, what we're going to be using to name our iPad is we're going to be using our ID number. So I'm going to get this paper out of the way here. I'm going to bring over my iPad. There we go. Okay, so step one, naming our iPad, our ID number. So we're going to go to settings. We're going to go to general. We're going to go to about. We're going to go to name, and that's where we're going to type in our ID number. So general, about, name, ID number. Really simple. Uh, so in my case, it's 24123. So it's going to be your graduation year and three uh, random digits at the end. And that's all there is, that's all there is to uh, that first step there. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is get on the Palma student Wi-Fi. So you'll need to be on campus to, the, to do this part here. Uh, it's super simple. So it goes like this. We go to our Wi-Fi here, and you're going to see a Palma student network. Mine's already saved, so I'm going to hit forget. And I'm going to go join it again. So what's going to come up is what's called the Google Single Sign-On. Give it a second. There it goes. It's welcome to Palma Student. I'm going to click Sign In with Google. And this is where we're going to type in our entire email address. So a lot of people make the mistake of just putting uh, 24123. But it needs to be 24123 at gopalma.org. You'll hit Next. You'll do your password. And you'll hit um, OK, and you'll join the Wi-Fi. Very basic, super streamlined compared to uh, previous years. Pretty happy about that. I'm going to hit Cancel, get out of that. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to turn off notifications. Now, by default, the iPad and every app installed uh, has notifications on, which could be a huge distraction and, and are a big distraction. So we're going to go to Notifications right here, which is right below Bluetooth. And we're just going to go through all of our apps. And we're just going to make sure they're slided on the, to the left, to the off position. I turn all of mine off uh, with the exception of Find My, which is the iPad tracker app. So I'm going to leave that on in case I need to find my iPad and make it start beeping and making a big racket so I could find the thing. Uh, perhaps keep Gmail on. Uh, I still keep Gmail off myself. I like to have designated times when I check my email. If I'm trying to work and do something, I have noises going off. It's just a distraction, but that's a preference thing. Okay, so that covers everything we do on the iPad itself. For the next uh, segment of this video, we're going to just talk about different apps. Um, I'm going to talk to you about them, show you what it looks like, and you'll just find them in the App Store and download them. And that'll be it, and that'll be the end of our video here. Okay, so the next part here, we're going to go through some slides and show you some pictures and talk about a couple apps here. Uh, this is the brief Palma Ready uh, slide tutorial here that we'll go through. Um, at the top is tech at gopalma.org, which is my email address that will go to uh, straight to me if you have any questions. Here we go. Okay, so uh, app number one to download is the Palma School app. Uh, that's what the icon looks like right there. This is available on the App Store. So this is going to be your grade book. You're going to check homework here. There's a watch section where it has all of our latest YouTube videos or tutorials like this. Uh, definitely download this app, log into it. Uh, your calendar is going to be there. This is a one-stop shop for all the Palma stuff. Uh, this is something uh, a little bit newer and we're really happy with it. Before we've had two or three different apps for all these things and now we have consolidated them all to one. It's a very cool app. Um, that's the icon. Just type in Palma School in the App Store and you can find that. Next up is Google Classroom. Most people have probably used this before. 
Uh, again, go to the App Store and download that. You're looking for that icon. Uh, if you're not familiar with Google Classroom, this is where uh, teachers will be posting uh, grades. There's a stream for a Q&A uh, se section forum there. Uh, there's the classwork section for all the assigned assignments. Um, definitely download that, log into it, and check it out and make sure you're comfortable with it. Uh, that's going to be where we're at 80% of the time in classes. This is a super important app here. So that's Google Classroom. Okay, next up is the Gmail app. Now, yes, the iPad does come with a mail app built in, but I found that we have a lot of students here that get confused with different accounts and they check the wrong email. So I recommend that everyone download the Gmail app and use that specifically for your at GoPalma email address. Moving right along, Apple Books. This is another one that's already included on the iPad. Um, a good percentage of our books are on the Apple Bookstore. Um, the book list of it is available at palmachiefs.org slash book list. Always keep that up to date. It's going to be the current year there, so that link never changes. Um, you basically are going to be scrolling through. Well, I don't want to talk about the book list. That's a whole other video, but you'll go there. You'll download your books. And you'll get them here. You're going to download them, and you're going to see them just like that. Um, the Kindle app works the exact same way. Uh, the other chunk of our books are on the Kindle app. Um, you have your library, and it opens up. It works really great on an iPad. Usually no problems at all. Again, there's the book list uh, link there. Okay, finally, Google Keep. So there's 101 different um, note-taking apps. This particular one saves to the cloud, and genuine, generally um, the notes don't get lost. Uh, Google's cloud services is great, and this is just a great, reliable way to keep notes or things like that. It could, it could do audio. You could record your audio. You could do videos does just about everything. So check that out. Uh, you'll be logging in if you're at gopalma.org and it'll all just save that way that, um, to that account. Okay, so here is the checklist. Hi again. So here's the checklist. So Palma School app, Google Classroom, Gmail, Apple Books, Kindle app, Google Docs, ESP Bible app, Google Keep. There will be more, but just to start, I wanna keep it just one column long, keep it basic, really simple uh, so I don't overwhelm everybody. Uh, I'm sure you guys have questions. I'll put my email up here again. There it is, tech at gopalma.org. You guys have any questions, email me there. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys on campus. Go Chieftains!